Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to make money online with dropshipping, you've come to the right video. One of the biggest hurdles that stops people from being successful is finding reliable suppliers. So in this video, I'm gonna show you who I use. But more importantly, once I reveal who that is, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how you can add your first product to your Shopify store using this supplier. And then I'm gonna show you how to fulfill your first order when that first one does come in. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you one secret that this service offers that saved me over $10,000 when I had a few hundred units that never made it to the customer. And so if you like this type of content, be sure to drop a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more videos. Now I'm gonna jump into my laptop here and show you the behind the scenes of CJ Dropshipping. In this video, we're gonna use CJ Dropshipping to add our very first product to the store. So to go ahead and get started, we're gonna select apps, and then we're gonna search for CJ Dropshipping. Now, when we're on the app store, you can see there's a few other options available. DSers is the app that allows you to link directly to AliExpress. Zendrop is also another one of my favorite apps. But again, for this video, we're gonna use CJ Dropshipping. Once we click through, we're gonna select add app and it is free to install. Now we're gonna connect it to our store by selecting install app at the top right here. Once we land on this page, if you haven't already registered or created a CJ dropshipping account yet, be sure to click register. If you already have a CJ dropshipping account, click login and authorize. Once you've registered your account, you'll land on this page. Scrolling down here a little bit, there's all types of guides and trainings that show you how to fulfill orders on the store, how to connect products, how to automatically fulfill orders, all types of different tools that you can use to leverage. To find products on the store, you can browse by the different categories over here on the left-hand side of the screen. You can also check out the trending products and the new products that have been added to their database. If you know what you wanna sell though, you can go ahead and search that right here in the search bar. So for this video, we're gonna add the automatic self-stirring mug to our Shopify store. And scrolling through the list of products here, you can see there's all different types that we can add, but the one that I like the best is this one right here. One of the reasons why I like this listing so much is because the supplier already provides a bunch of really great images for marketing so that we don't have to take these ourselves. They have four colors available, and you can see they have about 48,000 units in stock. The product cost is $6. The estimated shipping fee is around eight with that $1 service fee. So the total price comes out at around $15. Looking at the right-hand side of the screen over here, you can see where this product ships from. So it's shipping from their Chinese warehouse. Um, if we ship to the United States, we have a few different shipping methods to choose from. So they have options available from 12 to 25 days down to eight to 18 days. Um, and you can see the different shipping costs. So not much of a difference to get the 18, eight to 18 days here. I always recommend if you have the margin to do it, to pick the best shipping time. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, at the end, I'm gonna show you some insurance that you have when you use CJ dropshipping, if a customer complains and wants a refund, if their product didn't arrive in time. To add the product to our store, we'll have to select this button right here to list. And then we have to update the product type. Now we probably don't already have one in here, so we'll have to create our own. So I'll name it automatic self-stirring mug. And then the vendor will have to add our own as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put our brand name, Privity. Spell it correctly. There we go. And then we'll confirm both of them. Next, we'll have to update our price. I'm gonna go ahead and list these at $39.99. Like so. And then I'm gonna select the button to list it now. After about 30 seconds, you should get this notification that the product was listed successfully. And then we can check it out on our store by selecting the link right here. Inside of our Shopify dashboard, we see that all of the product details have been imported, as well as all of the images, all of the variants, the pricing, the units that are available at the warehouses. So everything looks like it was successful. Now we're going to want to go ahead and optimize this product page because this is not set up. Uh, to convert. So we're probably going to get rid of all the text in here and uh, make it much more marketable. Once you have your product page fully optimized with a good title, some catchy headlines, good product descriptions, maybe a GIF here and there, some reviews added to the page. Once you start driving traffic, you're going to see your conversion rates increase and eventually you're going to get your first order. Now let me show you how to fulfill orders using CJ Dropshipping. Remember when we added the products, we linked those products to CJ Dropshipping. So I went ahead and placed a test order on the store. And now if we head back on over to CJ Dropshipping, you're gonna to wanna to click on My CJ. Then once this loads, on the left-hand side of the screen, we're gonna to go to Orders. 
and imported orders. And now you'll see that there currently aren't any orders on the store. That's because we have to sync the store orders. So we'll select the store that we have connected and then we can sync by time. For the date, we'll select yesterday through today and then we'll select sync now. Once the order has synced, you'll see all the details appear right here on the screen. To begin fulfilling it, you'll have to select the shipping option that you wanna use. You can see the different names here, as well as their associated costs and the estimated delivery fee. Uh, typically, CJ Packet uh, sensitive, eight to 18 days with a $9 uh, shipping cost is really good. Um, the best one available is CJ Fast USA. You can see it's a little bit more expensive, but it will get there in six to 10 days. So once you've selected the option that you wanna use, check the order, and then we'll add it to the cart. Now let's go ahead and view the cart and begin checking out. On this page, we'll check the order again and then select submit. And then just like you were purchasing on any other website, you will click submit, enter in your credit card information and place the order with that supplier. Once the order has been submitted to the supplier, the details will become available on the order's fulfillment page. Once that supplier has shipped out the product, they'll give you a tracking number, which will be automatically submitted to Shopify and the customers will receive an automatic email notification, giving them their tracking information so that they can see the status of their order on your website. If for some reason the tracking doesn't automatically link to your Shopify store and the order still shows that it's unfilled, you can grab that tracking number, put it in here and then select fulfill item. This will automatically trigger Shopify to send that email notification to your customer and include the tracking information. If you'd like to get a high level view of the order status for anything that's pending, you can come to the orders tracking page within CJ Dropshipping and quickly see where it is in the shipping process. So now what happens if you have angry customers because the product didn't arrive in a timely fashion, which does happen sometimes with dropshipping? Well, let me show you the insurance that you have so that you can recoup some of those costs with CJ Dropshipping if a customer asks for a refund. Another helpful page here is Disputes. If a customer reaches out and asks for a refund because their order hasn't been delivered, we can go ahead and create a dispute with the supplier where if the product hasn't arrived within that shipping window that we paid for, the supplier will give you a refund for that order. So even if you have to refund the customer, you don't lose out on the product and shipping costs. That'll be refunded to you. So the only loss will be any ads that you paid for to drive that customer to your website. If you'd like to check out CJ Dropshipping for yourself, I'll add a link in the description below. That's all I got for this video. Again, I highly recommend CJ Dropshipping. They've been very reliable in getting all of my orders shipped to their customers on time. I also like that there's some insurance on the back end through the dispute dashboard should something go wrong during the shipping process. If you had any questions about something that you saw in this video or about CJ Dropshipping in general, go ahead and comment those down below or send me a DM on Instagram at EcomKong. Now be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.